guys, my name is Chrissy Bells. I'm welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you now. This is a full-on tutorial, a hands-on tutorial on how I achieve this amazing bag. I'm talking how I cut it, how I achieve this natural parting, how I sewed it one by one, track by track. Full-on tutorial. You are in for it. Literally, stop this video, get all the list of the equipment, and let's go. Guys, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? I am here to cater to you, okay? Subscribe and follow me on all my social media networks, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, using Chrissy Bell and Chrissy Bell's one for Snapchat. And guys, thank you guys so much. And you know what, let me stop waffling and let's get on with this video. If you'd like to see how I achieve these amazing, beautiful bangs, keep watching. Okay, let's begin by grabbing all the list of equipment and tools we will need for this video. Now, let's start by stitching the bundles. So, when it comes to making a fringe, I actually prefer to use about three bundles. Sometimes, during winter, I will use about four. So, right now, I'm gonna start by stitching the bundles in. I'm gonna start by doubling the back of it because I want the back of it to be a little bit fuller than the front and I'm gonna make the hair a little bit um, so individually on top halfway through okay so now what you would notice me doing is stitching this wig I have a full-on tutorial on how to stitch your wig you could watch my old videos about how to stitch your wig or I have an e-learning tutorial coming up on how to perfectly stitch a wig, okay? But because of this tutorial, it's not really about stitching. I'm going to speed it up, but I'm going to show you what the stitching should look like, okay? I take a lot of pride in stitching a wig because I feel like that's the foundation and I, I keep it so, so neat. Like, literally, this is just a... And I always use a blanket stitch because I feel like when you use a blanket stitch, like the wig that I have that everybody was going mad about have lasted five years because of my stitching. Guys, stop this video and take in how beautiful my stitching is. So now we've gotten to the top of the wig, okay? Make sure, this is why I prefer to use a mesh card because it makes everything easy for you. This right here is where you need to sew in the closure. And this is amazing because this is actually why I love a mesh card because it makes the job so easy for you. Right now I'm gonna sew in the closure. And if you can notice, I'm gonna start by sewing in one side of the closure first and then sew in the second part of it so i'm gonna sew one side then sew the other side before i sew the middle part the closure i'm using today is a five by five lace closure and yes the lace closure has already been bleached no, you don't need to customize it but you need to customize it once it's actually on somebody's head but yes you can see me sewing the other side of it right now guys i don't understand how you're gonna do this with a dome cap if you're gonna i guess you're gonna have to draw it out but with a mesh cap it's already done for you so you don't have to you know sweat it so remember you sew the right bit first so the left bit then you sew the back this is very important this is also the same method you would use if you're sewing in a five by five lace closure for a middle part it's exactly the same method but with this we're trying to achieve a fringe so once you've sewn in the back, we're gonna go ahead right now and then, you know, add in the extra bundles. Like you can see the gaps right now and what we're going to do next is just literally to fill in that gap, okay? So you're gonna fill in the gaps and make sure we do not want any gaps in our hair. It's not cute to have gaps in your hair, okay? So now, once this is done, please do not forget to leave 0.5 centimeter forward so put the lace 0.5 centimeter forward when sewing it this is very crucial and when you want to lay the lace and it helps the lace to lay flat in front of your head now let's get into the actual melting of this you know right now as i'm combing it out you can actually wear it like this as a sexy beautiful middle part but that's not what we're looking for today but we are looking for a fringe guys guys literally all you need to do right now is to make a v-shape going forward literally and then use your ors mousse and apply it all of all around where you didn't pin literally because you're trying to flatten it to make the top of it look so flat normally 
I would tie it down once I finish doing all of it, but we don't have that kind of time. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to spray it. Once I spray it, the next thing to do once you've been spray it is to, obviously I'm gonna spray using the silhouette, the white version like I'm showing you on the screen. The next thing we're gonna use is the black hot comb. Guys, this is a saving grace. If you do not have one, go get you one. It is amazing, guys. It's not just for you to use for frontals. You can use it on anything. This is why I love this hot comb. Remember, remember to use the discount code CB10 to get yourself a cheeky 10% off. You can't go wrong with 10% off it, okay? Now, the next thing you're gonna see me do is I'm gonna repeat the same method. Remember, it's literally like just part it again and then comb it all going backwards. Before with that, you know, when I didn't used to use the hot comb, I used to do it like literally wet it and then like tie it down and all of that stuff. But with a hot comb, girl, you don't gotta do all of that. All you have to do is literally put a mousse all around it, add in the spray just to make sure it's sealed you know, and make it also a little bit hard. You know, silhouette white spray doesn't make things too hard. It makes it just slightly hard. And then the next thing you just have to do is to use the hot comb to press the life out of it down. Normally I will use a blow dryer to do this part, but with a hot comb, you don't need all of that. Now let's move on to doing the front part of it. The first thing we're gonna do is to part an inch forward and make sure once we part the inch forward, that we're going to use the mousse and also use the spray to make sure and use the hot comb to seal it so just the same thing we've been doing before but just part an inch forward okay once you've done this you will see me going over with the hot comb you can also do depending on how thick you want your french to be depends on how much you put forward so for me i only put like two lines forward and the rest goes to the side that's because i actually uh, we're looking for a wispy fringe today not a thick fringe so bearing that in mind we're just gonna do two going down on my face and the other going to the sides also you may use a mousse to actually clean up this so normally i would actually put the mousse all over this hair and just tie it down overnight and the result of this is super super flat but since i discovered the black hot comb remember cb10 to get you a 10 percent discount i don't we don't do that no more all i have to do is to use the hot comb and press and press and flatten it as you can see on the screen right now it's actually so easy to achieve so once you've used the hot comb to go over it right now you can see that middle part is just looking straight you know some people actually prefer their fringe like this but i don't because i don't feel like it looks that natural okay this is flat this is cute this is cool but this is not that chrissy bell's effect kind of fringe you're looking for like that amazing now but look at how i'm using this hot comb i'm using every part of it the back of it the front of it this hot comb will be suffered in my hands now this is my secret i'm telling you guys right literally how to achieve the natural pattern you're gonna have to pluck that fringe yes i said pluck yes you have to pluck the fringe that's how you actually achieve that natural hairline. If you'd like to watch my plucking tutorial on e-learning, just click the link down below and I will teach you how to pluck. Yes, remember that I have a full-on tutorial on how to pluck your front tooth to perfection. Check out my e-learning, I will keep the link below. So practically, you need to pluck a bit more than that, like at, at least a double of that. You know, depending on how thin you want your fringe to be, this is specifically how to create a wispy bang. However, I like my fringe a little bit thicker than a wispy, you know, bang, to be honest. You can see, I'm gonna go in with a trimmer. A trimmer is the best thing to use. Do not go in straight away with a scissors. That would literally put you in trouble. Go in with a trimmer. You know, it has that zigzag edge. It's not a proper scissors. 
it will help you to create that wispy you can already see that that fringe looks light okay but that's not what we're going for we want it a bit longer than that because that might give you some some anti fringe and <laughs> some anti fringe that you don't want i'm gonna go in again with a trimmer i actually do not use scissors until the last part of it that is actually another trick i'm teaching you now now i'm gonna use a scissor because i want a chop end okay however i'm gonna mess up the end afterwards because i don't like it to be too clean either okay guys as you can see right now it's looking a bit wild but do not worry it, 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 i've done this 100 times this is one thing i can do in i can cut a fringe in five minutes easily so now the last part of it is the part that you're gonna drop down this is the crucial part this is your last part do not mess this part up okay so now you're gonna see how i'm gonna cut the last bit because the last you want the inside of it to be like a little bit shabby a little bit not straight and all of that stuff but you want that last piece of hair to cooperate okay right now you're gonna see me go in with the trimmer on the side because i don't want the bulk on the side either you know however in most of my fringe just because i want to do this show you guys how to do a wispy fringe i kind of like my fringe a little bit thicker than what i you know did for you guys today but just because i want to show you guys how it's done if you notice i only went with the trimmer just once on the side i'm gonna carry ahead and just knitting it up and then i'm gonna try and frame my face a little bit as well now i'm gonna use my 10 years oh this ghd is the is 10 years old or even more for the front it's so thin that it can curve it a little bit in not too much okay that's what you want that's like my our secret ink like that ghd has tried i should let it go by now but i refuse 10 years i'm going strong but yes so i'm gonna use the ghd to straighten it so like i said normally i would prefer a little bit thicker than this now you're going to see me actually go into the fringe just like the edges of it just to make sure it's not chop once that is done do not forget to cut the excess lace because you see how light this fringe is it will expose you so make sure so usually for my clients i will cut this out for them before they even get the wig so just cut this piece out please just cut the excess lace out and also do not forget to cut the inside of the lace out as well because that is also so important okay because you want to be able to see your scalp you know and make sure you have a nice camera now guys this is what it looks like i actually love this this is without it being straightened because obviously i'm gonna have to go back and straighten it properly line by line remember guys i have a full-on tutorial on how to perfectly straighten your hair and i'm gonna put the link down below make sure you check it out guys look at my skin i have been using this cb soap guys i made it myself and it's incredible i love it it's all natural and i love what it does to my skin anyways if you want a tutorial on how to go from village girl to beautiful sexy girl city girl then let me know in the comment and i'll do a tutorial on it yes the soap website is cbsoaps.com and voila you are there guys how amazing does this look now to make it get that natural 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 you need to add a darker shade of your powder one shade darker than you and guys how natural does that middle look once you add that one shade darker than you onto it and if you pluck it correctly it will look amazing Pump out the fringe and girl you are ready to go like i said i like my fringe very very long and i also like it light now like guys how amazing does this fringe look who is this i love it thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel i went from a village girl to okay and if you don't like this video don't worry you're gonna like the life in the next one so still like it it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys more videos is coming up and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial Mwah!